Hey there, how's it going? Well, I thought it would be a lot more waiting to do my move. Everything has been so uncertain. But now it's pretty certain that it's going to be in Columbus, Georgia. And I will likely be moving in a week unless I can pay for the place and not have to sign the final paperwork in person. I've already done their application. I was approved. Everything's looking good there. But there's the final paperwork, and if they do indeed need me there in two weeks, then I'll be leaving in a week. If not, I'll be leaving probably in about three weeks. Why Columbus, Georgia, you may ask? Well, that's a bit of a story. I've been trying to find a place for a few months now, trying to make sure that I didn't put all my eggs in one basket. One of the problems I've run across is that a lot of places aren't accepting applications from out of state. You have to be a resident of that state first. Another problem is that a lot of these places do not accept proof of paying rent to friends and family as a valid form of rental history. It doesn't matter if you even have a co-signer. You need to have a valid rental history. That's what stopped me from getting a low-income apartment in Bellingham in the end of 2014. It's slim pickings when it comes to places under 300 a month. Very slim. There have been several places. Um, let's see, where were some of these? There's like, uh, uh, there, was, there were some places in South Dakota, uh, Iowa. Um, I think there was a couple places in Montana. But the places like in South Dakota and Iowa, they were... Uh, uh, Like a couple of them were in towns of less than 2,000 people, and the only thing for at least an hour's drive in any direction was farmland. You know, I'm fine with being in a small town, but I've got to at least, you know, if I can, if I can do a bit, little bit of a drive and be somewhere, you know, cool. But it, you know, that long before I can even see anything other than farmland, yeah, that that sucks. So, um. Oh, in one of the places, the, 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 the grocery store, the only grocery store that you could find that, that was there in that town, the only reviews for that grocery store um, were saying that they sold expired food and they had, they had gotten sick. So, yeah. Um, there were two places I was really interested in in uh, North Carolina. What, what part was it? had rock in the name somewhere rocky mount they had that they think that might be it yeah i think it was rocky mount a couple places i was interested in rocky mount but uh um those apartments seem to be yet another place that doesn't take people from out of state you have to be a resident first so um and so then this place in in Columbus, Georgia, showed up. It's a uh, it's 175 a month, plus 40 a month for water. So I mean, so I mean, usually that gets included in a lot of places. So they separated it here, but so basically it's 215 a month, and then there's the other utilities and everything else, you know, standard. And uh, I looked into the crime statistics. I the Statistics. Crime statistics. It's like trying to say sports statistics. Um, anyway, the, the, the crime statistics aren't the best, but they're not the worst either. There's a bad area about a mile and a half away from where I'm going to be, but that's a mile and a half away. A lot. You can have quite a different speed in, in that much distance, so... And it doesn't seem to be filled with those good old boys. And the black population, from what I've seen, isn't gangish or hyper-masculine posture-ville. You know, they stand around in those masculine postures. Um, so, you know, it seems all right. It seems all right. There are plenty of grocery stores. There are plenty of interesting visual lookouts. I'm still finding out whether there are... Uh, 
some nice parks out there where I can go walk on some trails. I mean, when you go to, uh, uh, you, you say, oh, that's not going to work. No. Well, it still got it anyway, but whatever. Um, you go to these parks, and when you go zoom in, it's like, look, Belvedere Park. Oh, Belvedere! And, you know, this is the park. You know, a park out there seems to be listed as, it's not a set of trails, it's a it's a grassy place. It's, uh, um, you know, uh, most of the places look, that are listed... Uh, as parks look somewhat like the default Windows XP wallpaper or uh, Teletubbies. Lots of grass hills or fields, but then there are some perfect little sidewalks and some manicured trees sticking out and usually a children's playground and sometimes there's a public pool. But you know, I, I, I'm used to going to a map and seeing something like this right here and uh, oh, it must be a, a, a you know must be a park here. Well, well, no. Um, now, when you look at this one, let, let's 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 look here. You know, there's a possibility that there could be some trails in here. Looks, I see some patterns like right here, and right here. You know, maybe there are some some trails through there. Um. Now, maybe some of the reason for there not being many trails that can be seen that they advertise is that there are probably chiggers and ticks, and it's not exactly something people want to have to deal with, but again, I'll soon find out. Um, so, so if we go... Uh, directions and we go uh, home it's about a uh, yeah well, there's a little above for a 40 hour drive and uh, hopefully I can get in at least 10 hours of, of driving in a day which should make it a four day drive though I do want to do something like this So I can pass through Colorado and Oklahoma. I want to visit Agent of Doubt, and I want to visit a friend in Oklahoma. And so, you know, probably a four-day drive. I mean, if I, if again, I mean, I, I I could do it shorter if I if I uh, drove between thirteen and fifteen hours a day, I could make it a three-day drive. But then it would kind of really make the visiting with those two friends kind of rough, but, um, you know, and maybe that'll end up making it a five-day sort of thing, but, you know, hotels are expensive, and I don't know if the people who are helping me with the cost of the move would be happy about me just spending more than I need, um, but we'll see, um, I just hope that this will work out. I, I'm, I'm a bit stressed. Um, I've never tried to tackle a drive like this, but uh, you know, I've driven to Texas, um, and that was that was pretty. Uh, that was a <laughs> that was a fairly uh, hefty drive, but this is quite a bit further. Um, but we'll see. I mean, the good, you know, a good thing about this is, you know, I can, there's a lot of people I could visit um, from here. I mean, yeah, it's, 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 it'd be, it'd obviously be quite a drive, but it's still, at least these people will be visitable, visitable. So, you know, I, I've had a number of friends who are on the East Coast, and I've never really it never seemed like a possibility for me to visit them before, but if I'm over here, well, I'll be able to visit them. So, and as I've already discussed, this is this is something I need to do. Um, if I if I don't do this, then ten years from now, 
you know, if if a bad situation comes up, I could end up uh, either being in a mental institution or on the street. And and you know, I've got to I I have to do this. So, um, and it, when when you have to go with something low income, you you gotta. It's always everywhere is going to have a number of negatives, and it's choosing which negatives. I'm hoping. I'm choosing the negatives wisely in this case, but we shall see.